Hello everyone, Zendog 1.2 is here. This small but powerful add-on got some cool features. Let's go! Most surely you already know Zendog panel, where you can manipulate windows, maximize, minimize and doing other operations. Also you can open different panels from different sides. Just right click on the panel, add toggle button and specify site and context you want to open. But in this update we went further by adding custom buttons with commands. Let's go to Render, Render Image and copy Python command. Now to the Doc panel, right click on the panel, open Preferences and let's add new button in Toggle Buttons panel, choosing Command Mode. Now we can paste our command in the command field. Don't forget to select Render icon for our new button. And now you can press this button in any context and it will execute render image command showing render of our 3D model. Let's go further and in preferences add filter option for this button. Select context where you want to hide this button. Done. Now you can see that this button is showing only in 3D view context. You can also add your custom script by select script option or quickly execute command from the text editor. As example, I asked ChatGPT to write a script that will move selected object 10 cm higher. Copy paste, call it test and in Zendog preferences let's choose our test script from the text editor. Now each time I'm pressing this script button, the object is moving 10 cm higher. One more extra option is to add Pi menu for the custom button. In the command type you need to choose Pi. And let's select view Pi menu from the list as an example. Pressing button you can open the Spy menu, but it's active only in 3D viewport. To make it active in other contexts you need to go to the preferences and specify 3D view context and link it by using link button. Now, no matter in what context are you pressing this button, the Pi menu will be active and will be executing the command in existing 3D view context. We added a possibility to assign shortcuts for opening workspaces. You need to go to Window, Workspace in New Window and for scripting workspace we can assign Ctrl-Alt-Shift-S hotkey. Now you can open this workspace whenever you want. But that's not everything, let's add this to buttons. Let's go to Zendog Preferences, Add New Button, Command. Here we need to select Operator and add Open New Workspace command. Here you need to select Scripting and press OK. Don't forget about icon. And now when you press the dock button the workspace will be opening. Pressing it again will close it. And what is important you can adjust position and right click save window bounds. Next time when you press button the workspace will be opened in a saved location. For people who are in love with buttons we added import and export option. Firstly, let's export existing buttons, delete all of them from the list and import them back. Easy way to save and share buttons with your colleagues. 
If you have any questions, please check documentation and our support forum in the help panel of the add-on. Subscribe and thanks for watching.